been my experience that how people manage their money not only impacts their financial well-being, but also their spiritual well-being, their emotional well-being, and their relationships. So our goal is when we work with our clients to help bring meaningful transformation, not just in their finances, but also holistically in their family lives, their, in their emotional lives, and in their spiritual lives. We have found that when we're most successful, our clients end up being a lot more comfortable and confident about their lives, not just their financial lives, but their emotional lives, their relationships, because money can be quite stressful. So by making good decisions, having a good plan, we find our clients end up having a lot more confidence and comfort. That said, I understand how it's difficult in today's environment to oftentimes have a lot of comfort or confidence in an overall financial portfolio because one of two reasons. One, people have either had bad experiences or number two, they don't have the knowledge that they feel that they need to make good decisions. So with the problems we've had and the challenges we've had in our economy the last 15 years, a lot of people are a little nervous about the future. But also, in addition to the bad experience, a lot of times people just don't feel like they have the knowledge, the proper knowledge, to make good decisions. And that proper knowledge can be a lack of education. It could be what they read on the internet that's not true. It could be bad information, misinformation, or it could be because they've talked to financial advisors that have a bias towards certain products or strategies. I think for any client advisor experience to be successful, both sides have to be comfortable and confident with four different things. I think at the first level would be the personal level. At the personal level, what I mean by that is, is the client has to be comfortable with me and I have to be comfortable and I have to know my client. And on the client level, I have to know one of two things. My client either has an investor mindset or a saver mindset because everybody wants to grow their money and everybody wants to protect their money, but a saver is more concerned about protecting their money than growing it, whereas an investor mindset, they have more of a desire for growing their money than protecting it. And that's very important as we put together a portfolio that we know that. Also, from a client's perspective, they have to know where their advisor is coming from. Is that advisor, using a golf analogy, are they a golf club salesman or are they a swing coach? Or are they both? Because in our financial world, there are people out there that just have products and they're going to be out there and they're going to have a product that tries to fit every situation. There are other advisors out there that all they do is give strategic advice, but they don't offer any products. What we try to do at Aspen Creek is to provide both. We start with the swing and we analyze people's financial swing. But after we've done that, then we do have the clubs or the products that we can bring to the table that would hopefully fit and be optimal for their plan. When I was directed to Michael by a friend of mine here, been through the same ups and downs as us, but we both decided, you know, we needed to find some real guidance, but we also needed someone that would help us stay disciplined. Michael's that guy. In, in our dealings over the years, have not just uh, been professional, we're actually friends. And that's the great thing about Michael. He, he makes you feel very comfortable. He has my family's interest in mind. Well, not only is it important for us to be comfortable with each other, it's also important that the client be comfortable with the process we take. And our process is really focused on two things. Number one, we want to educate our clients. And what's our goal? Our goal is to educate our clients to the point that they're empowered to make an informed decision. And number two, we want to coordinate. Because oftentimes, our clients may have advi other advisors. They may have financial advisors, attorneys, CPAs, insurance agents. But who's really coordinating that? The client. And oftentimes that's a stress that we like to take off their shoulders because we can coordinate with the client's advisors or our group of advisors, whatever makes the client more comfortable. So in the areas that we do educate and coordinate on are the six distinct areas of financial management. So six areas are asset management, credit management, cash flow management, risk management, tax planning, and legal or estate planning. Now we're not licensed and we don't give advice on everything that in all six areas, but we help coordinate that with our clients, other advisors. So we're not there to really compete, we're there to complement their other advisors, but it's important that those be coordinated. Michael is um, very good at looking at a comprehensive financial picture. He broadened my scope of uh, how I thought about finance and also allowed me to see that my money could be employed making me money in more than one place at once. I felt going through the process with Michael was very easy. Uh, it was very smooth. Since setting up the plan that we are now doing with Michael, it's been like an unbelievable burden has been lifted off of my wife and myself. We finally feel like we have the guidance. We finally feel like we have the knowledge. We finally feel like we have the power to control what is gonna to happen to us in the future. So not only is it important that we be comfortable at the personal level, on the process level and on the plan level, but we also need to be comfortable on the product level. And that's usually where we have 
the most challenge because unfortunately there is no perfect asset out there and there's no perfect portfolio because the perfect asset would be what? It'd be 100% liquid, it'd be 100% safe, it'd have no risk, it'd have no expense, it would have unlimited rate of return potential and it would be tax deductible going into the asset, it would grow tax free, come out tax free and go to your heirs tax free. Guess what? That doesn't exist. But doesn't it make sense though that there are assets out there that we can put in a portfolio that increase the overall portfolio's liquidity, safety, minimize the expense, increase the rate of return, and be more tax efficient all at the same time. Um, you know, since I started with Michael, we have had a, a couple of periods of real economic downturn, uh, including in particular 2008. And uh, very nice thing to know is that in those economic downturns where some of my friends lost 40, 50 percent of their portfolio, that Michael's strategy uh, is secure in downtime and we lost zero. Now with the plans we've laid out with Michael, with the, with the ability to build the wealth that we want, with the ability to protect it, and with the ability to avoid the kind of taxes that I can see my, my, uh, my in-laws and other people dealing with, it's just given us a sense of real security, real safety, and real empowerment that we actually feel like we're going to make a difference to help ourselves without making our children have to worry about us.